Hey everybody, it's Jill for sleepopolis.com and today I'm going to be talking about the P&J Health 100% Silk Sleep Mask. That's this guy here. Um, you would not know that this is the P&J Health 100% Natural Silk Sleep Mask from the packaging. It just comes like this. Uh, there's this label on here that says 100% 100 natural, 100 natural Silk Sleep MA Ellipsis T-I-O-N for men and women black new. And there's a little Made in China sticker on here. So uh, certainly branding, not a big priority for these guys. That doesn't mean it's a bad product. Um, but when you get a box of sleep masks at your house and you're trying to figure out which is which, it makes it a little bit hard to identify. So there's going to be a link in the video, link in the write-up that'll be linked here, and you'll be able to find the mask that way. But it's a little hard to find otherwise. Uh, let's go ahead and take it out of the package. So there are they're saying it's 100% silk, so I'm expecting it to be very soft, which it is. Uh, just your basic kind of blindfold style sleep mask. Somebody on Amazon pointed out that it's the same sort of sleep mask that you get if you're flying business class. True, maybe a little bit bigger, definitely a little bit softer than what you get. Uh, uh, last time I flew somewhere where they gave me a, a mask, it was actually scratchy. So this is not scratchy. It seems to be pretty well made. Um, the sewing is, is good on this. And it has a slider strap to adjust, which is one of my like must-haves in sleep masks. The more sleep masks that I try with Velcro, the more I realize just how much I dislike Velcro. It gets stuck in my hair, collects cat hair and dust and everything else. It gets stuck if you're sleeping on a plane where they've got that like upholstery material rather than a sheet. It'll get stuck on that sometimes. So anytime I see a slider, I am a happy girl. That being said, the slider itself, I don't know. Maybe other masks, but the one that I got, the stitching on it is not super great, uh, which is surprising considering the, the mask seems to be pretty well made. So uh, let's go ahead and put this on. I probably, yeah, I definitely have some hair between the mask and my eyes, so that's fun. Um, okay, so the ma this is, I mean, it's your standard mask. I have my eyes closed right now because when I try to open them, there's a lot of pressure on the lids right here. Uh, when I first got this mask, I had to do a lot of playing with adjusting the strap because it, when it's the tighter it is because of where the strap is in relation to your eyes and the mask, the strap is right in line with your eyelids. So the tighter it is, the more pressure it puts on your eye. Some people are totally fine with that. For me, it's it's really a problem. I don't like having a lot of pressure on my eyes when I sleep. Um, so you have to kind of adjust the mask. Fortunately, with the slider, that's pretty easy to do. And what I learned, what I'm going to do now, is um, when you have less uh, tension in the strap, you get less pressure on your eyes, but the strap starts to slide, and you can see how low it is here. So it's a delicate balance. You have to figure out what is more important to you, putting less pressure on your eyes or having the strap really fit at the very midpoint of your head. Uh, for me, I would rather have a little bit of a looser strap. Having a little bit of light coming in is not one of my biggest sleeping problems, so I made that sacrifice. Up to you if that's a sacrifice you want to make. I'm going to lie down. We're going to talk more about what this feels like in a sleeping position in just a second. As you can see, I am lying on my side. The reason that I'm doing this is because I am very much a side sleeper. I cannot sleep on my back. I cannot sleep on my stomach. So if I'm going to wear a sleep mask, it has to allow me to have half of my face pressed into the pillow. Um, and I mentioned in the last segment that I had to loosen the strap quite a bit in order to take the pressure off of my eyelids. Fortunately, uh, and, and kind of surprisingly, when I laid down, that loose strap kind of ceased to become an issue. Uh, when I laid down, the mask hardly shifted at all. All I had to do was kind of tug it a little bit over here, got the mask repositioned, totally comfortable, not a problem at all for side sleeping. The band does press down a little bit on the ears over here. That's probably because I have it so loose, but I don't want to tighten it anymore and put pressure on my eyelids. So having the band pushing down my ears after a while might start to be uncomfortable, especially because the, the tops and bottom of the elastic aren't really finished. Um, but, you know, if, if I can get around that, the mask is very comfortable. It's super soft. Uh, my eyes are closed, so... Any light that is coming in, I can't, I'm not really noticing. It seems like maybe there's a little bit of light right around here coming in, kind of where the, my cheekbones are pushing the mask away from my face a little bit. Um, that is not usually something that keeps me from sleeping. If you're super light sensitive, it could be an issue for you. But 
it's impossible to open your eyes with this mask, even as much as I loosen the strap, I cannot open my eyes. So if you can't open your eyes, the light coming in might not be as much of an issue for you. Uh, again, very comfortable. The silk is super soft. Uh, the strap doesn't feel too tight around the back of my head now that I've adjusted it, and the mask doesn't feel too tight on my eyelids. So that trade-off that I was talking about earlier, um, adjusting the mask so that it was a little bit looser and lower on my head in exchange for relieving that pressure, seemed to be worth the gamble. Um, again, just it means that the strap is rubbing the backs of my ears, which as I'm talking to you is starting to get a little bit more unpleasant. So I'm going to sit up, I'm going to take the mask off, and we'll talk some more about pros and cons in just a moment. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, pros and cons of the P&J Health 100% Natural Silk Sleep Mask. This is my cat, Jack. He has many opinions about how I sleep because he likes to sleep in the bed with me. Um, so pros. Mask is very soft. It's very soft. It feels so nice on your face. So that means it feels nice on your eyes, um, which is a definite plus for me. It's also very comfortable. As a side sleeper, I am not willing to sacrifice the ability to f fall asleep comfortably on my side for having complete light blockage. So um, I, I appreciate it that this mask is very simple and straightforward and sits flat against your face, allows you to sleep comfortably. Another thing, big thing for me, I've said it before, I'll say it a thousand times, this slider strap to adjust rather than Velcro. I don't know why mask makers keep putting Velcro on masks, but the more masks I try with Velcro, the more it becomes a real negative for me. So I'm hoping that some sleep manufacturers, sleep ma mask manufacturers are watching these reviews and they'll see the slider is really the way to go and maybe we'll get some progress there. Um, I do have to say on the cons side, I'd mentioned the mask was really comfortable for me to sleep in on my side. But as I was talking to you guys making this video, my face is moving, my head is moving, and the strap from the mask started to slip down a little bit behind my ear. Uh, the top and bottom of the elastic are unfinished, which isn't to say that they're really rough, but they're also not smooth because there's no stitching to, to kind of cover them up. So it started to rub a little bit. You know, the, combi the combination of having my ear being pushed down and something rubbing behind it, not super pleasant. I tend not to move a lot in my sleep, so it probably won't be a problem for me if I'm not making a video, but if you're somebody who tosses and turns, it's something that you might want to be aware of. Uh, I also have to say, as far as the strap is concerned, I would mentioned before, the tighter the mask is, and the, that means the higher it fits on your head and you don't have to worry about the strap rubbing behind your ears, the more pressure it puts on your eyelids. Some people actually really like to have pressure on their eyelids. I find it to be very uncomfortable, so I had to find the delicate balance between the tightness of the strap keeping the mask in place and the pressure on my eyes. And by the time I took enough pressure off of my eyes, there was, you know, the strap still, the mask stayed in place, but the strap did slide down quite a bit, which was not great. Um, and I talk a lot about, I use sleep masks when I am traveling, uh, like on a plane or a train, so it might be the middle of the day, or if I'm trying to just take a quick nap, a siesta in the middle of the day. And uh, that means that often I've already, you know, gotten up, gotten dressed, put my makeup on, and I don't want to lose some nap time that I could potentially have because I have to wake up five minutes earlier and fix my eye makeup. Um, and with this sleep mask, because it sits right on your eye, even if you loosen it, it, it does. And so you can't see it right now because I didn't have, well, you can see it a little bit. There's like some unevenness in my eye makeup right there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I was only wearing the mask for a couple of minutes as we were shooting this. It wasn't a big deal, but I did nap in this mask and it did actually become a bit of a hassle. Uh, I had to, I was late to where I was going next because I had to completely fix my eye makeup. So, something to be aware of if you are a makeup wearer who also sometimes wears the sleep mask while you're wearing makeup, maybe not a positive for you. Anyway, that is it. On behalf of my cat, Jack, who has since disappeared from the frame, uh, we will see you next time. There's a full review on sleepopolis.com, so check it out.